my channel the black rat in this video i'm gonna show you about brute force attack prevention setup in aws linux instances whenever a instance is on the public server then attackers are trying to reach out the server and again and tries to gain the root access so that he or she can destroy the database or manipulate as accordingly so the brute force attack is authenticating the login panel by sending large amount of request at a time in this attack when any public server is hosted attacker try to authenticate himself to gain access via ssh login user needs uh, and they needs to uh, ssh key that is created while the instance is create, created there is two method uh, suppose suppose in your organization someone who who shared the private ssh key to anyone outside the organization then he will be able to attack the server so this might to be pretty secure and the th second method is uh, trying uh, default password that is set while the uh, while the instance is creation uh, created and other is attacker just brute force the dictionary based attack in which he uses a vast list of password that is called dictionary based attack now there is many scenarios in which we can decrease the brute force attack into our server so first is we can set maximum auth trial to so first is maximum auth price that should be 3 or 6 so what we'll do is so whenever attacker tries to log in uh, in tries to incorrect login uh, more than 3 or 6 then it, then the connection will drop automatically so no brute force attack after that and the second one is uh, we can set as challenge response authentication challenge response auth authentication should be yes by default in the configuration panel this this these are things are not set so we are we will set it on the server that is present on the ssd configuration file so what we'll do is uh, this this challenge response authentication always try to look up the keyboard interaction if there is no interaction of keyboard if there is no interaction of keyboard then it will fail the connection and drop out the ip address so user not able to connect and the third one is we can set the default password as as defined the default pass default ssh password is sorry default ssh port is 22 so we can change it by 2022 this is also created on inbound role of security groups in our instances so, so we might uh, we will have to change there as well so let's get started first we will have to set our max tries authentication and then we can change this challenge response authentication and then we have to set the uh, remove the default pass uh, default port and we have to set uh, as at their place is 2022 so let's move to the further so here is my aws console panel and here you can see in the guard duty there is there are several attacks in past days uh, in in these attacks including SSH brute force, SSH brute force, root credential authentication and SSH brute force and their count is 10, 6 and much more. 
so what we will have to do is we have to configure our instance accordingly so you so attacker can't be able to access via brute force attack so you can see here this this attack is caused from uh, caused from where hmm, caused from china and the organization is tencent cloud computing so uh, automatically these ip are blocked but what what we can configure in the sss configuration file we can set the default default port to 2022 and maximum try is authentication to 3 and uh, challenge response authentication to yes so let's get started first of all uh, i just wanted to show you my show you my test instance configuration so here is my test ssh that is running on t2.micro so you can see here when i click here these are the information so you can see here on the security panel in security groups there is inbound rule that is that is set as port range 2022 whenever you will create any instance you will have to set by this uh, in previous in by default it will 2020 it will not be 2022 it will just 22 so you have to configure by accordingly and you can see here the server is on public so by default the server is on public so i can log in it via my command panel login into the instance server that is on the public we need to use our connection link and we have to modify it by port 2022 as we have set it at the default port now we will connect it so type for the root place a privilege sudo hyphen s then here here we need to first update our linux instances so mine is red hat so i will use yum update in case if you have kali or uh, ubuntu then you can use apt so here it is updated and after this we need to set in this server the the default port by 2022 so to do this we need to install se manage se manage to install this you can use yum yum provide slash user slash as bin slash se manage to locate the to locate the path where it is installing and then after we will use yum install policy core utils policy core utils python utils so this will create an installation of se manage so that we we can able to set the default port by 2022 in our instance so after installing this you have to use these commands on the linux server i have already installed it that's why i am not using i am just showing you come back to the terminal and if uh, although i have already installed the se manage so what we have to do is just checking the default port se manage port hyphen l for listening and then grab ssh okay okay, okay. my spelling was missed yeah so this will show the default port in my case i have already set it so how i will i set it 
I will just show you slash ATC slash SSH. So here you can see here you can see I just removed the hash sign from here. You can see here I just removed the hash sign from here and set the default port 2022. And after this I have done I have to set the in the authentication section. You can see here let me scroll yes this one so you can see here the challenges response authentication is by default no so you have to set is it by yes so I'm commenting this and removing the above one and again we have to set the maximum authentication so here you can see in above panel first we have removed this one and added this one by removing the comment and then we have to set this maximum authorized to 6 and just remove the hash, signet, hash sign so yeah so all the stuffs are done and just save the port by qw okay by wq okay so we have set it to add this port by 2022 you will have to set c manage hyphen a for add then hyphen t ssh underscore port this port name here you have to install oh sorry here he you have to set then hyphen p for port tcp then 2022 by using these this script you can add this port into ssh default SSH system so after doing so just restart the system CTL SSHD yeah all the stuffs are done and you have completely configured the um, brute force attack prevention system in our AWS Linux instances After this user, if any attacker wants to uh, log in using brute force attack and maximum authentication tries, that is we, uh, we have set at 6 by default. So it will allows, allow only 6 requests. After this, it will drop down the request and no one can able to connect the instance. Okay then, thank you guys. Subscribe and comment and if you have any any doubt and you can reach out to me via Twitter or you can comment on the below